So we did, we signed Nas, and uh, part of the deal was that we were doing the soundtrack by, for this movie called Zebrahead, right? And um, by starring Michael Rappaport, right? And Search bought it to us. And what happened was Search bought Nas to Columbia Records, and um, and uh, they appointed Faith was it was the head of it was it was the A and R person for it, and uh, but the problem is that the you know the executives at, at at Columbia like you know like the head of the label and everything they didn't want to sign Nas, and um, so what they did was at the time uh, they owed us a lot of money, and when I say a lot of money, they owed us like millions of dollars, and so it's pipeline royalties, right? They don't have to pay you until the, until it's contractually due. So you're sitting there, and so this company owes you all this money, right? So um, about four or five weeks before, um, a friend of mine who ran a nightclub in Philly was uh, playing me a song called Live at the Barbecue, right? And it was on uh, Wild Pitch, right? And I'm listening to it, and he goes, man, you got to find this guy Nas. You got to find this guy Nas. I said, man, come on, what you are you serious? Look who's, look who he's on this record with. You know, he's not going to be, he's already signed. You know, like, like I want, I didn't want to get emotionally invested, but he was fucking amazing. Right. So Don, the president of the head of Columbia records called me up and he said, I need you to take a meeting with MC search and faith Newman. I said, what are you meeting about? And he goes, it's about this artist named uh, nasty Nas. And I'm like, really? No shit. Okay. Click. Right. We come down to Philly we go out, to, we hang out, and everything, and we sign Nas to Rough House Records, and we put out the, uh, we put out the, um, um, the, the for the first single, and um, and it did really. It was like it went, I went to number one on the Hot Rap Singles chart, and um, and uh, and so something strange happened. Uh, so now there's this huge huge buzz on Nas. And so the Source magazine, years before, I had helped them because a couple of the guys were from Philly. John Schechter was from Philadelphia. And um, I had helped them get their their the magazine out there. The very first issue was a was like a newsletter. It had right. a story about School E D on the front and everything. And I had put it in with the School E D records that went to retail, right? So these guys were very, you know, in <laughs>